When taking photographs, it's always important to be conscious of lines, patterns, and then doing something that might be a little abstract. Um, you can see in this photograph that I wanted to take a photograph of the pier. You'll see it off in the distance, but I wanted to incorporate some other elements into the photograph. So I looked around and I saw some really distinct lines being formed from the shadows of this fence. So I decided to incorporate the lines into the composition of this photograph. And in my eye, the lines from these shadows you know, take you from the bottom portion of the photograph and lead the eye all the way to the top corner, which is the pier, which is what I intended, originally intended to shoot. So again, you can use uh, different patterns of lines to extenuate your subject, but at the same time, lines can also be your subject. Um, an example of a pattern in a photograph can be seen in this photograph I took out in San Francisco. Um, the initial pattern I saw was just all the different windows um, breaking up this uh, painting of some jazz musicians. Um, so again, you know, it's, it's more than just a photograph of a painting because you've got the pattern of these windows going throughout the image. Um, another example, uh, just something abstract can kind of create some interesting images. I just noticed um, this light reflecting off this puddle on the ground with all these leaves and pine straw in it. And um, to me it's an abstract image, but I think there's a, a lot of interesting things to look at in this image. So you don't always have to use my examples, but do always be conscious of the different lines and patterns going on around you when you're taking your photographs. And you know, think about some abstract things that you could either shoot or do with your image to you know, create you know, interesting subjects, interesting photographs.